It's magnetic. <laughs> okay, yeah, this way, through okay. here. Now, your catchment okay. zone is going to be the downtown core. Okay. That's home to some of the most discerning bridal houses in the city. So you're going to be dealing with people who are... Well, okay, they can be pris little pains in my ass. Do I ever get to meet any real brides of this? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have to get our hands dirty with any of that. White Dreams is strictly import-export. Okay. Ah, now, here you are, right through here. Come on, sit down. Make yourself at home. All right. This is your domain. It's best that you get to know each of our dresses by name, okay? Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. All right. The Ivory Tower. Mm -hmm. The Snow Fairy. The Virgin Queen. Yeah, right. Um. Good morning, Erica. How? Are, what are you doing in the girls' washroom? Why? Why isn't this the girls' washroom? I. I was just at work, and... White Dreams. Such an evocative name. What? What? Okay, just before you go, this is, uh, something from... <laughs> You've got that out of your system, have you? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Please, come. Sit down. Sit down? I, 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 I've been looking for you everywhere. I mean, I have a million questions. I can imagine. You sent me back in time. Indeed. Very glamorous, I know. How did you do it? No, I mean, more, more importantly, why? why? Why did you pick me? Samuel Johnson said, the use of traveling is to regulate imagination by reality. And instead of thinking how things may be, to see them as they are. OK. OK. Tell me about regret number seven. Tell me why you picked me. Well, why not you? Is your life so insignificant? No, but I... Oh, well, good, then. Your list, please. Hold on, hold on. I have some questions to ask, and I think, at the very least, I'm entitled to ask them. I mean, you, you kind of made me destroy my car. Erica, we made a contract. And in order for that contract to work, you have to trust me. I do. And you have to trust that my number one regret is Leo. Please send me back to him. I mean, I can, I can warn him. No, you can't. You can't go back to fix other people's mistakes. And you can't go back to win the lottery, or to bet on the Stanley Cup, or to save your brother's life. This, Erica, is about you. It's your list, it's your regrets. It's you. So, tell me about number seven. Secret society. Okay. Okay. Secret Society, wow. <laughs> um, it was 1995. I was in my second year at university, and I thought that I knew everything. Normally, I, they only invite a handful of people to join each year, so I, mean, I was flattered. The cool kids wanted to hang out with me. And you regret it. Why? Because in retrospect, I mean, it was a short-sighted decision. Uh, we are the sum of our decisions. And as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Antigone Morris. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not happy. I mean, I could have just went along with it, and I, I should have. And if you had joined? Membership has its privileges. I mean, just look what it did for Antigone. Uh -uh. If I could do it over, I would, I would join Literati and I would do their silly little initiation, and I would get on the right path, the path that I should have been on all along.